In the previous tutorial, we covered using the pen tool and we traced this existing Russian doll. As you can see, the trace is right here. Um, I can show you in preview mode. Um, and in this tutorial, we're going to talk about layers, which is the second, perhaps equally most important thing in Adobe Illustrator. Now, layers are located right here. You can see this layer icon and you can also find them under Windows. And layers will allow us actually to um, organize the order uh, of elements on top of each other. So what, what is it we want um, on top? Do we want the eye over the face or the face covering the eye and so forth? So up until now, we've been um, using this option of going to object arrange, bring to front and send to back, which is uh, not a bad option, you know, but it's um, not the right, I mean, it is the right way. It's not uh, a bad thing to do. It's a great thing to do, especially if you know the, the shortcuts. But using layers really organizes our work professionally, if you will. Now, let's go ahead and work with layers. What I did in the last tutorial is just, um, I, I had no clue about layers. I mean, I'm pretending that. And then I just traced over this uh, doll. And what happens, whether I like it or not, within the layers uh, panel, I have already something happening which I uh, didn't have much control over. I can see that I have something called layer one that seems to have, you know, in the little icon, there's this image of the doll. And if I click on this small arrow, I can also see something called path and something called link. Under path, I see the path that I drew. And under link, I see the, the image. So before starting uh, to work with layers, let's understand what's happening here. Um, Obviously, whatever I did, whatever work I did uh, before creating my own layers, they all got created on the same existing layer one. And what I did is I drew the path around the doll. So that path went under layer one, as you can see. Do you see other layers? No. So whatever I drew, in this case, the outline or the path around the doll, went under layer one and if we wish to see it we just click on this little arrow and it's right here which means that um, we can basically on the same layer have as many paths as we as we want so for example now when we uh, try to trace the eye of the doll um, it's going to be perhaps on one on one layer called eye and then that layer will contain uh, a path for the lashes, a path for the pupil, a path for the iris, and so forth. So that's how we organize our work within layers. Um, obviously, the layer will show you, you the image that, you know, the layer is made up of, but that image is also considered a path. So that's why we see the image of the doll as one of the paths, and then um, the, the trace that we... Um, that we went ahead and uh, drew around the doll within the same layer. Okay, so the first thing I need to do to organize and clean my work is uh, change this uh, name, layer one, to something that makes sense. So I'm going to call this um, image so that in the future I understand, or while I'm working, I understand that this is my original image. Okay. And then the next thing I want to do is um, put this path that I drew on its independent layer. I don't want it to be under um, the image layer because later on I want to use it to mask my work. Okay, I'll re remind you what masking is. So to select my path, I just, um, let's, let's say everything is deselected. To select something within the layers panel, you just hover over this section, which is the right side next to the small circle. You hover over this section and it says, um, indicates selected art, uh, sorry, art. And then click to select the art. So let me click in this empty area next to that circle. 
and you know this blue box will appear because this layer's color happens to be blue and this will allow me to select the path that I have okay or whatever is on that uh, section so there you go this is uh, my path selected and now what I want to do is go to edit cut or do command X and then close this layer start a new layer create a new layer by clicking on this little icon and then go to edit paste in place because I want my path to go exactly on top of the doll and not somewhere else on the artboard so paste in place and my path is exactly where it was but on its own new layer and that layer's color happens to be red we can also change these layer colors if you want uh, but uh, you know it's not important because it's actually a good idea to have each layer a different color so I'm going to go ahead and call this path which would go which would be the path that I um, just outlined earlier in a previous tutorial and if I click on path what I will see is just the path of, of the doll and that's all okay so now let's go ahead and create a new layer to work with um, the eye so I will go over this little icon that says create new layer and click once it will add a new layer and I'm going to call that um, I okay and then I will place this layer under the path layer because I want the path layer to always remain at the very top so the way to place this new layer under the path layer is just to click on it select it and drag it down until you see this black line forming and then drop and then your eye layer becomes um, located under your path layer now let me zoom in and on this exact same layer I'm going to draw the lashes, the pupil, the iris and so forth now the best idea to work uh, is to lock the other layers, the ones we're not working with because by mistake you will end up working on a layer that you don't want and that will cause problems so let's go ahead and lock the path layer just by hovering over this section and just clicking the lock icon and also on the image lock so now whatever I do um, none of the path or the images layers will be affected let me select my eye layer and start tracing these lashes so I'll take the pen tool and um, click once and drag hold down the alt key click to get rid of the tangent handle okay click once and drag and two more lashes hold down the alt key hold down the alt key and click okay and then maybe this point click and drag and this beginning there you go this is our shape this is the lashes and I'm going to color them black so let me make sure um, I go to my color panel select black and that's it these are my lashes now let me see where they ended up on my layers panel um, it's on the eye layer if I open the eye layer I can see the path of the lashes now I want to go ahead and call this path uh, lashes because now while still on the eye layer I want to go ahead and draw the iris so make sure you select the eye layer um, use the eyedropper tool so hit click eye to select this brown and then uh, use the 
ellipse tool to draw the iris like so okay and actually the iris should be behind the lashes if you see because the lashes are on top of the iris so when I position it here I just need to make sure that this thing that says path that I need to change to iris um, I need to take it and drag it down under the lashes layer because I want la lashes to be over the iris okay so far so good now I need to draw the pupil and the little uh, white um, you know the, the 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 eyes shine and there's white in the eyes so these little white dots in the eye I, I need to draw them so how am I going to see them how can I see I can't see them anymore because this iris is opaque so in in order for me to see through the iris I can just hide it temporarily just click on this eye icon hide it temporarily and now you can see the rest of the work so again click on the eye layer take the eyedropper tool select this uh, actually you don't need the eyedropper tool you know that it's black and white so um, just select the black from the artboard or from your uh, color panel and let's go ahead and draw the pupil okay uh, and let's call it pupil um, and this pupil again is going to be under the lashes but over the iris right so it's starting to make sense but I also need the little white dots so again select the eye layer take the ellipse tool and this time choose white oops so I, I need to deselect the pupil be, be, be sure to deselect the, the object you were working on earlier and then draw the next object so deselect by clicking outside and then go back on the eye layer and draw your nice little circles and now you can color them white and there's this little I can use the brush a very thick brush let me change the thickness perhaps to 0 0.05 this is much better and now I can unhide the iris and I will see that nice shape of the eye but let me go ahead and um, give these names so now you see I have so many paths here I don't know which one is which I don't know which one is this big white circle which one is this uh, smaller circle but I am able to know just by clicking on this uh, right side next to the circle that you see here so if I click there I know that this is that white effect so let me call it just white and then which one is this it's the small circle so let me call it um, small 3 and this one is small 2 and this is probably small 1 okay so the small ones are my little white circles and um, they are over the pupil and over the eye, uh, iris but they should be under the lashes actually they, they don't need to be under the lashes because the lashes has nothing to do with them it's far away from them anyway 